Hey guys, welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We have what you have all been waiting for. That's right, the Metro 935 build is here, folks. That's right, and we have a lot of people out there, including you, to thank for having this awesome system. First of all, thanks to Anthony Reynolds. He's our in-house builder man. Thanks a lot, bro. You did an amazing job on this. Michael Wood from Mayhem, dude, you're liquid. It's looking badass in there. Dan Schneider from Intel, thank you very much. Mark Trent from MSI, love you, brother. Rick, oh man, Rick from Corsair. Thank you, brother, for all the parts that you gave us for this. And Gabe from Swift Tech Man, you know you're always in our hearts. And Rajiv from Cooler Master. Hey, thanks for the awesome case, man. So this is it, man. The Cooler Master 935 ultimate build using obviously the stacker case, which you can see is in three different components. And this thing's totally decked out. And we're gonna talk about all that shiznick. But one thing really cool about it is that this thing's totally like, you know, operated by remote control. The remote control things, you know, can do different, different things in the system here. Can change the old lighting, even things like a disco light. But anyways, it's totally remote controlled. The fans are all totally operated by a digital interface. You guys are gonna really, really like this system. So instead of me talking, Let's jump in and check out this system. But one thing before we do jump into the system, I want to give a special thanks to lynda.com for making this video possible as well. They're today's sponsor for this video, and we want to thank them very much for making it possible and bringing it to you folks. So with that said, let's jump in and let's check out the Metro 935 and all its badassness. So let's check this out. First, Let's do a spin around around the outside of the case and just take a look at all the aesthetics and what's going on. So right here, as we start off at the main visual side, you can see we have a totally custom window that's been made. Now this thing's pretty awesome. It's got UV lighting in it. So it lights up with UV and like you put it in a dark room, the whole room like lights up with this thing. You guys can see clearly all of the clean tubing and everything on this side. We have clearly all of our sponsors etched out as well as the Metro and the Tech of Tomorrow logo. Then we're gonna move down into the very bottom of the case. Now you can see down here, folks, it does look a little bit messy, but there's a reason for this because the cables had to actually be stretched from the bottom all the way up to the very top of the case. And to do this, we had to use a lot of different cables. Now we use some Mod Smart Cobra cables. These are the max extension cables. They were 16 inches, black UV yellow. These are the cables that are actually running from the bottom and going all the way up into the top of the system where the other things are. Now, we pop the side panel off. You can see there are three 120 millimeter fans in here. And these things are really awesome. These things are by Cooler Master and uh, they're just rocking. We also got a Cooler Master V850 power supply, a Western Digital two terabyte hard drive, and then we have a Corsair Neutron 480 gigabyte SSD. Really fast stuff. Now, I know down here it looks a little bit messy, but you don't actually see this part of the system. It's at the bottom. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there are three layers to this system. This is layer one. And this is basically like power central. So you don't see this stuff. It's kind of messy down here, but hey, that lends for the rest of the system to look really badass. So in the front, we'll start off at the very bottom of what I'll call story one. And there we just have a single ASUS drive. We just did this down there to fill the slot. And so if we going to put an OS simply, we could just use it there. Now zoom up to the second story. You can see there are two 120 millimeter fans, again, bringing air in from the intake. And one thing to take note of is that Anthony Reynolds actually custom painted every single one of these fans in here. So they look pretty awesome. And one of the questions everybody asks is, painting the fans this way, does it make them unbalanced and make them noisy? And the way Anthony did it, not at all. They still sound awesome. And when you even turn them on high, they just sound like, you know, in regular air from the like going or making anything. Then as we go up just a little bit further, we see the Monsoon Series 2 Premium DDC MCP35X Dual Bay Reservoir with quick change LED control. Now this baby is matte black with black trim. Now this thing has a reservoir in the back and it's a Swiftec X35. You can't see it right now because it's actually installed behind this thing. One thing to take note of that's actually really cool about the Monsoon is it has two controllers. One controller controls the brightness of the unit and the other 
controls the color. Now you can get some cool colors. You can get green, you can get red, you can get yellow, and you can get a combination. Now this is pretty cool and in the dark it looks even more bitchin'. Next up we see the Lamtron CW611 fan controller. Now this thing has six channels and controls up to 13 fans. Now we're using it to control all of our fans in our system but one which is located in the rear back on the top. Now it controls all the fans on the top. There are three on each side. And on the bottom it controls three on one side and one on the other. There's also one fan on the rear on level two that's being controlled and two in the front. All the fans in the system are connected via three pin, four pin fan connectors and split by three ways to connect via the Lamtron controller. Like I said, we've got it operating right now, six different fans inside the system. And to operate this thing, it's really, really cool. With one button, you push and choose the different fans that you're using. Then you engage that and with the other button, you can change the speeds. So basically you click fan one, change the knob around, adjust it from low all the way to high, and you can do that all the way through the sequence of controllers that they have on the unit. It's actually pretty cool and pretty convenient. On the very top, on level three, we just left that pretty much completely blank on the front side, and you'll see why later. One thing really cool about the back side of the case, though, is the total custom paint job. Now, this thing was all handmade by a guy who is actually quite famous at doing this kind of stuff. And I wonder if any of you guys out there can actually guess. We'll have his name in the details down below. Then after that, we're gonna flip around to the back side of the case. First off, we will show you the single fan that we told you is being controlled by the controller. And then we're gonna show you the fan that's actually not being controlled. Then we're gonna flip back down here. We'll show you the rear IO, where you guys can see the rear IO of the motherboard. You guys can see the video cards. And then finally, moving all the way down, we see the power supply. You guys can see here's the on and off switch. You guys can see all the components in it. And now let's go back to the side of the case and let's start disassembling the Metro 935. So we pull it off. You guys can see the cable management is actually really nice and clean back here. You get pretty much a full inch to put all your cables back there. So there's actually plenty of room in the stacker for doing this. And we also see this big yellow piece of plexiglass sticking out. You guys are going, hey, what the frack is that big piece of plexiglass doing there? Well, that's actually part of the mount for the custom fans that Anthony mounted in the front. You guys are really gonna like the way this looks and something custom had to be made in order to make it look the way it did. And you guys can also see all the cabling going up and around in the system. Next up, let's start taking the system apart and showing all the components that everybody really, really wants to see, and that's the actual guts of the Metro 935. So first up, we're gonna remove the side panel. And as we remove the side panel, you guys can see all of the UV lighting. And one thing really cool about these UV lighting is they require no ballast. You guys can see that everything inside this thing is all based on the yellow and black theme, hence the Metro. And to get the colors of that, we had to do a few different things. The tubing that we used was the Primo Chill Primo Flex Advanced LRT tubing. Now this is half inch ID by three quarter OD, and we used 10 feet of this retail stuff. It's actually pearl UV yellow, and the part number is PFLEXA10-34-PUY. To make the yellow even pop even more in the system, we gotta give a very special thanks to Michael Wood from Mayhem. They kinda sound like a heavy metal band to me. Rock it out! But we use the Mayhem paste. This is their Sunset Yellow Concentrate. And we also use the Mayhem UV Yellow Green to make the yellow really pop. This is our second reservoir. You guys saw we had one in the front. Well, this is our second one. Now this is the XSPC Photon 270 Tube Glass Cylinder Reservoir. Now this thing looks really, really cool. You can also see a lot of the parts curving around and going up in the system. Now, every one of these different types of parts that have to do with the cooling system are all made by our friends over at SwiftTac. Gabriel sean has been in the business for quite a long time. In fact, he has brand new products coming out that we'll be showing you guys and doing another build on. But all these parts internally, except for the ones that we're noting, are all from SwiftTech. All of the barbs, all the quick lock parts, the radiators, the CPU block, and the GPU block were all provided by SwiftTech. 
One thing that's really cool about this system is it has all these awesome quick connect parts. Now, with these quick connect parts, if we want to change something out in the future, it'll make it much, much easier. We can just turn the system over on its side. We can either drain the system or we don't have to, but it's probably best to do that way. And then move in the next part. We're actually trying to work with NVIDIA and get another card and add that to the system as well. By the way, thanks again to Brian Del Rizzo of NVIDIA for providing us the GTX 780 that we use in this build. You guys can see that inside of the case though, it's absolutely pretty much flawless as far as the wiring goes. You guys can see this is an ultimately clean build. On the very front of the case, here you guys can see that custom configuration that I told you guys that Anthony made using the plexiglass. You can also see two more of the JetFlow fans and these were also custom painted yellow. Another thing that's really cool is that Swift Tech and their cooler on the video card allows you to custom choose the color that you can use in its lit up part. And we chose to use yellow to match the system. I think that's pretty awesome. Makes it very flexible. For our motherboard, we use the MSI M Power Max. For our memory, we use some serious awesome stuff. This is the Corsair Vengeance. We have 32 gigabytes of this stuff in there. And for our CPU, we have the Intel i4770K thanks to Dan Schneider at Intel. Thank you, sirs, one and all. Now, hidden in the very top of the system are two triple rads from Swift Tech. Now, these things also have a custom bar being used, and we also have a temperature gauge in here which goes down to the Lamtron that allows us to actually see the temperature of what's going on inside the radiators. Here we can see some of the half-inch tubing going to the X35 Swift Tech pump. Like I said before, the system actually contains two of these units. This one you can see, but the other one's actually hid behind the monsoon. But one more time, folks, before I bounce out of here, let me once again reiterate how important our sponsors are. I want to thank them all once again and you folks. But this video today was brought to you by lynda.com. Whether you want to take better pictures and video with your DSLR, learn the programming skills to develop your own mobile app, or edit your own video footage using Final Cut Pro 10 or Premiere, lynda.com offers thousands of video online courses as well as many different topics. One thing that's also really cool is that you can work at your own pace and at the hours that you want to work. So if you're a person who gets up in the morning, your person wants to work at three o'clock in the morning, they're there for you. Also, we all know you guys out there love quality videos, right? Well, hey, lynda.com brings you quality tutorials. Now to get into this, plans start at about $25 per month, but check it out. If you're a TOT fan, you can try this stuff for seven days risk-free. Go in, check out everything you want for seven days. You want to stay up 24 hours a day for seven days? You can check it out and see if it's actually worth your time. And if you deem that it is, you can jump on the bandwagon and use this. Now this will help us and also to help you guys learn. And to do this, all you guys got to do is go over www.luna.com forward slash T-O-T and you're in like Flynn. Okay, folks, so there you have it, the Metro 935. Now, this thing took a lot of time, hence all you guys' comments all the time saying, where is it, where is it, where is it? Well, now you guys know why it took so long to bring it to the table. All those custom mods, all the custom paint jobs, all the things that had to be done to it, things get sent out, you get waiting times, they come back. These are all the reasons that we just didn't snap our fingers and have an immediate system for you folks. Now, we're trying to alleviate some of those things and speed things up a bit, but when we do something that's custom like this, it usually does involve a little bit of time. Thank you for those folks out there who were patient and just kicked back and said, all right, man, when it comes, it gets there, it's there, because you know now it is here. I'm happy with this thing. We're gonna do a lot of stuff with it. We're gonna do some gaming on it, play some stuff on it. And I mean, I don't know, I'm thinking about even making some couple of more changes on it. And real quick, give me a little break here. I've got a surprise for you. Oh. So check this out, folks. We're gonna give this away. Now, what the heck is this? This is our extra UV panel. That's right. Anthony was going to have one and he was going to use this, but he decided that he'd actually do something different. So we thought some folks out there might want to get this so they could actually emulate and have their own system like this as well. So what do you have to do to win? Well, it's pretty simple. We'll have a link down below the like button, which man, 
If you're not hitting the like button on this system, there is a serious problem. You just have serious attitude. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, man, you know, it took a lot of time. So down there below that will be all the information. All the parts will be listed and everything else. We'll also have a link over to our new forum-based website. That's right. So all you guys have to do is go over there, check out the article and the link over there in this, and leave a comment. We will pick from those comments in 14 days from now and send this out to somebody. And yes, I don't care. It's worldwide. We can ship a piece of plastic and get it around there. Some sponsor will send it to you. We know they will. So you guys want to win this? Have a part of piece of history? Have something very unique? Well, you can have this. So right now, so this is Cameron. No, I'm just kidding. No, we're going to throw it to Cameron. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching this video. We love you. If you guys want to support us and get an education, hey, go check out what lynda.com has for you. Peace out, my brothers and sisters.